Yes, sir. Now, today, we gonna talk about Houston rapper slash producer, Beat King. Now, a couple of days ago, man, maybe about a week ago, uh, Beat King, also known as Club Godzilla by his biggest fans, has lost his life at the age of 39. With that being said, man, we gonna dive into this situation, man, and we gonna see what's going on, man. First and foremost, the fact that Houston rapper Beat King dies at the age of 39. When Houston, in its abbreviation TX, as in Texas, equals 39. Now, if you don't understand what you're looking at, uh, this is the practice of gematria turning letters into their numerical value. And this is what these words, phrases, and things uh, equate to. So we can see using gematria in numerology, we can really see what's really going on in this situation. Now let's continue, man. So with Beat King passing away at the age of 39, this is interesting because the only song, the only single that's credited on his page is a song called Then Leave that was released in 2020. Then Leave also equals 39 in the Chaldean cipher, right? The Chaldeans believe that numerology right leads you to your destiny in its lifetime right numerology so it's very interesting that the only song that he's credited for uh on his page that peaked on the charts should i say right it peaked number two us bub whatever that stands for bub uh and then 48 on the r&b slash hip-hop chart right now once again, man, with this number 39, it's very interesting because Beat King also passed away three months and nine days before his next upcoming birthday. Now, the word masonry also equals 39, and I'm going to prove here that Beat King's death was a Masonic ritual. Now, the day that he passed away, now, peep the hand sign. Now, I know that he's from Houston, right? So I know that the H, you know, they'll say that this hand sign is he's throwing up the Houston, the H. But you got to understand in this industry, uh, things can have two meanings. Things can have like duality. Things can have two meanings, right? There could be double speaking behind that. It could be two things. It could be two birds and one stone. He knocking out right there. You see what I'm saying? Now, his manager announced that he died on August 15th after suffering a pulmonary embolism. Now, I have no idea what that is. I should have I should have looked it up before um, I record it. Hold on, actually. So I looked it up real quick and it's a blood clot that breaks off and it blocks a blood vessel in your lungs. So that's what that's what it is. But like I said, uh, I'm going to prove um, that his passing was a Masonic ritual. So starting off, right, we have him passing away at 39, three months and nine days before his birthday, when Masonry equals 39. Now, looking at the day that he passed away, the 15th of August, right, 15 slash 8, when the word Freemasonry equals 158 in the English language backwards, right? They have to take each variation, right, of these words because each word has a, a set of values that it equals based on the letters that it has in that word, right? So we know that Mason is a word. We know that Masonry, we know that Freemason is a word, right? So we have to, we have to take that into account, right? When we talking about Gematria. So let's continue. Now, it's very interesting that uh, Beat King actually equals 33. 
So this goes along with this Masonic ritual that we're talking about the day that he passed away. It's on Freemasonry numerology. Beat King equals 33, just like Masonry equals 33, right? The highest degree in Masonry. And Beat King also equals 147 in reverse when Freemason also equals 147. Uh, also, peep that there are, speaking of Freemason and the number 147, there's 47 degrees in the Masonic compass. But come on. Because adding up his date numerology that he passed away, August 15th, the eighth month, the 15th day, we get 23. So Beat King passed away on 23 date numerology when Beat King equals 23 and Chaldean. Also Masonry equals 23 and Chaldean as well. Do your homework on the number 23. Watch that movie, the number 23, if you haven't seen it already with Jim Carrey. Masonry equals 23 and Chaldean. Murder equals 23 and Chaldean. Now remember what the Chaldeans believed about numerology. So he passed away on this perfect date that aligns with Freemasonry, right? So I'm led to believe that B King was a Freemason, but come on, um, continuing on, right? Because B King passed away on a day leaving 138 days left in the year. Now that date also has 38 date numerology as well, adding up the date. Now you see this movie cover right here, Murder by Numbers. Now we can see the, the number three and the number eight right in the cover. Now the word murder itself equals 38. So they use this movie cover, not the movie because watching the movie is a disappointment because you would think that in the movie they're talking about Jamantra, they're not. They're just using this cover to illustrate through the title, uh, the number three and the number eight, right? To let you know that this is a real thing. Now, if you actually listen to the song, Murder by Numbers, you'll learn a lot more than watching this movie. Uh, like I said, murder equals 38. And this is the day that he passed away on. Now, once again, going back to that only song that's credited, uh, that peaked at the chart, then leave, then leave equals 38 as well. And on top of that, Beat King passed away on the exact, on the 38th week of his age he passed away on the 38th week his the day that he died was the 38th week of his age when r.i.p equals 38 killing equals 38 rapper equals 38 and like we spoke of man murder murder by numbers 38 and this is what a lot of rappers uh are being killed by this 38 numerology as well. King Von equal 38. Uh, Trey Savage equal 38. Uh, Lil Loaded equal 38. A lot of rappers have been killed by this 38 numerology, man. Uh, yeah. But moving along. Right? Because if we put this all together, uh, B King passed away on the 228th day of the year, uh, on the 38th week of his age, right? Just like RIP equals 38 and 228. This is the day that he passed away. And he passed away on 38 date numerology on a day leaving 138 days left. So we got the number 228 and 38, right? Just like death equals 38 and 228. And then 
we got a little dash of mockery in here as well too right because the word nigga equals 38 as well and 228 so this is why a lot of uh rappers black rappers specifically right pass away on this 38 date numerology or around the number 38 and then he even passed away on the 228th day of the year well like i said the n-word equals 228 but come on because more mockery because uh beat king's birthday his next birthday is on the 102nd day of his death when slavery equals 102 so with that being said it can be understood why he passed away at the age of 39 three months and nine days before his birthday because slavery equals 39 now nah. think back about this number 39 man and and the mockery that it holds so it's very interesting knowing that slavery equals 39 because if we go back and remember man malcolm x and martin luther king jr was both 39 years old when they both got killed both people and, and, and many, many Americans think of King and Malcolm X as perfect opposites. But they both died the same way. They both got assassinated. And they both died at the age of 39. Even taking, even, even looking at the numerology, both of their character names, Martin Luther King Jr. equals 93, and Malcolm X equals 93. The reflection of 39. But even if we go further, man even if we take their birth names right if we take martin luther king's birth name of michael michael equals 39 and malcolm equals 39 as well as both individuals died at the age of 39. so this 39 number goes way back man and it's included in this whole mockery situation so it's very interesting that uh beat king passed away at this age of 39 man three months and nine days before his birthday but come on, man. Come on. Because if we talk about mockery, we got to talk about the biggest number that's used in mockery, the number 42. So we can see also if we go back, if we if we if we go back to their stage names, right? Malcolm X equals 42. Martin equals 42. Slavery equals 42 if you watch the show if you ever watch the sitcom martin then you remember how he lived in apartment number 42 and the show took place in detroit located on the 42nd parallel but come on because it's very interesting man if we talk about uh this this single this this single that we keep referring to called then leave that's his only single that has charted on the US on the U, on, on the US charts. He passed away on the fourth year, the 20th week, and the fourth day of this song being released. So basically, that's 42 forwards, and then that's 42 backwards. When the N-word equals 42, check this out. Freemason equals 42, and masonry equals 42 so we go right back to it being a masonic ritual man all around the board this is why he passed away at the age of 39 remember masonry equals 39 so this was a masonic ritual slash a mockery which <laughs> which <ritual. laughs> ritual as well man and this is why he passed away at the age of 39 Well, come on, man. Right? Because we had the number 42, man. Just like the N-word. 42. But well, come on. Because, once again, man. Looking at his next birthday. He passed away on the 102nd day of his... Or, excuse me. His birthday is on the 102nd day of his passing. J 
just like the N word equals 102. Then he passed away three months, one week and two days before his next birthday when the N word equals 312 in reverse satanic. So yeah, it was it was some mockery going on with the with with the uh the day that he passed away, man. Heavy mockery. Heavy mockery because once again, man, looking at the day that he passed away, the 228th day of the year when RIP equals 228 in the reverse Sumerian cipher. He even passed away 14 weeks and three days before his next birthday. Everything is around these people's birthdays. 143 RIP equals 143 in the reverse satanic cipher. And these are the things that we're getting. So with that being said, man, that's all we have for this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Y'all let me know any further recommendations for any videos in the future. Appreciate y'all for all the love. Appreciate y'all for all the support. I'm out.